third brother of five Doing whatever I had to do to survive I'm not saying what I did was all right Trying to break out of the ghetto was a day-to-day -day fight Across 110th Street Kept trying to catch a woman that sweet Good evening, young men. Hello, everyone. Yes, it's Saturday night. Welcome to the Jonathan Ross Show. And there's only one story that people are talking about this week. Bears in Russia have become addicted to aviation fuel. <laughs> Here's one getting a hit. Look at this. Here's a guy. Look, that's actually what they're doing. And here he is afterwards. You can see why I like it. To be fair, everyone likes a drink of the airport, don't they? And in case you're worried, the bear was fine. Half an hour later, he was back at work. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking with current affairs, a chicken has laid a massive half a pound egg with two yolks, OK? Here's the egg. This is the actual egg. Look at the size of that. Yeah, the ladies are going, oh. <laughs> now we know how Peter Kay's mum must have felt. And here's a picture of the chicken. <laughs> Actually, hang on, that's a, that's a picture of a rooster, isn't it? No wonder it hurt. Um, <laughs> Amsterdam's oldest prostitutes have retired. <laughs> really? Are we sad they're retired? Are we saying, well, thank God, you poor old dears. Put your feet up and keep them together. So here they are. Here they are, bless them. Bless them. Louise and Martin Fockens. That's their actual name. <laughs> That's their actual name. They're twins. They used to work together. I suppose that was what they called Double Dutch. And they obviously worked in Amsterdam's <laughs> Blue Rinse district. <laughs> but now they've retired, so it's bad news for Harry Styles. <laughs> he has to redo his bucket list. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm thrilled, ladies and gentlemen, that we do have uh, such a great uh, guest this, this evening. But in particular, uh, I feel honoured that we have with us the one and only Bobby Womack, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Hey, brother! There's a better way out. Snorting that coke, shooting that dope, man, you're copping out. Across 110th Street, it's trying to catch a woman that's weak. Oh, oh, oh. A hundred and ten street Push his bonnet to junkie go free wow. Great to have you here, sir. Uh, and of course, joining there, you'll see uh, I'm on the band there. We have Damon Alburn is with us as well this evening. Yeah. Alburn. And they'll be doing a number at the end of the show for you, so stick around. What a great show we have here tonight. Uh, you already know the music, of course, but we also have, let's have a look in the green room, from the world of movies, we have Ian McShane, Nicholas Holt, and the man who made the Olympic Games so much of a great event, director Danny Boyle, right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hello, chat. Yeah. Danny, we couldn't let this moment pass without our own magnificent opening ceremony, so I thought I'd show you how it could be done. Incredible. How about that? Danny, six quid. Six quid. That's what that cost us. <laughs> <laughs>